Okay. We are doing the second part of the chapter number five, the numerical integration, and we discuss some example concerning with the simple and composite rule. And last time we finish up to here now that the Error bond formula for the composite rule is H square into B minus A12. Let's we do some example today concerning with this composite error bond. They are very good example, this one. He say find the approximation of this integral with the this H by using this table. So first thing you have to do, you have to choose, select the point according to the this step size or step length and it is 0.2 so we have to select what one 1.2 am right no not one yeah sorry one 1 1.2 1 1.4 1 1.6 1 1.8 and one, uh, two we have here so this is a table we have according to the teacher advise you because he give you many points, but he says select the point according to this edge. Then he say, find the approximation of the integral here. So what we have here now, I told you, what is a composite rule? Composite rule is H by two, value of the function at the first point and the value of the function at the last point should be multiplied by one. And the middle point, should be multiplied by two. So we have the formula is this one for n is equal. How many point we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, six point mean n is equal to five. We have here now that these trapezoidal rule for n is equal to five is, is this formula. Value of the function at the first point and the last point should be multiplied by one middle function. We have f of x1, f of x2, f of x3, f of x multiplied by two here. Now your h is what? 0 0.2, 0 0.2 divided by two. So we have a 0 0.1. And we know what is f of one? 0.368. What is f of two? 2.71. And the middle point, you know the value, just multiply with the two and inshallah you will get this approximation. What is the second part of this question? He said, function for this table is x e minus x. Then he said, compute the error bond. And the of course, absolute error, he will not give you in the exam. I will not give you in the exam because it will take more time. But I just solve here. But in exam, teacher only asks you to compute the error bond. And we know what is the error bond formula is H squared B minus A seen by 12. We know H is a point two. We know B upper limit two. We know A lower limit one. The only things we don't know is M. What is M? M is a maximum value of the second derivative in the interval. So function is this one. You have to find out the second derivative and I calculate the second derivative of the function is <coughs> this one. And then you find the maximum value of the derivative in this interval when you calculate, inshallah, you will get 0 0.3679 here. So now you know everything. H square, B minus A, B minus A is a two minus one, which is one in the 12 into M. And that is a maximum, the error or absolute, a, a error bond. What is the third part? How many sub interval? I mean, you need n to approximate the given integral on the accuracy 10 minus 6. If we need 10 minus 6 accuracy, how many intro, sub interval we need to get the using the t rule here, trapezoidal rule? So you are given this is I find absolute error. No need to do absolute error in, in the exam because it takes more time because you need. Uh, integration by parts here, which is a complete question here. So we use this error bond formula, and this is is given what 10 minus 6 accuracy. And then you know m is already this, and you solve this for n. If you know the m is this, you know b is 
2 is your 1. So you simplify this one, take n square on the other side, 10 minus 6 in the denominator. Simplify, inshallah, you will get n is equal to what? 175.0. It's mean how many interval? Is a 106 interval. And 1 over 6 interval mean how many point? Point always one more than this one here. So 170 points. If we need the accuracy 10 minus 6. So you can think about the trapezoidal rule is not a nice rule. It's very slow because it is, if you want to get the better approximation from the trapezoidal rule, your S should be as small as the possible we have here. You understand, please, any question you have for this example? No, clear. clear. Good. Now let's do the same example. This is exactly the same. Here, teacher not give you the table. He directly give you the function. And interval from one to two, this is lower limit, upper limit, and he give you Maybe in exam, he say n is equal to six, or maybe he give you use trapezoidal rule for seven point. Seven point mean n is equal to the six we have here. And then second part, compute the error bond like we did. How many sub intervals? The same thing we have. So only things you have to do, this is your f of x given, n is given six, and you can find out the number of points because six means you should have a seven point. And seven point, you know only the final point is two, the, the first point is one. X naught is one, X six is two. Middle point you can find after you calculate the value of H and the value of H is equal to what? B minus H X same by N. N is your six, B is your two, A is your one. So you can have a one over six. And now you can easily find out the number of the points here. You have how much? You have x naught is your x naught is equal to what? One. What is x one? One plus h, and one plus h is how much? Seven by six. What is your x one? X two. Sorry. X two is seven by six plus one by six it is eight by six x3 equal to what? 9 by 6. x4 equal to what? 10 by 6. And x5 equal to what? 11 by 6. And your x6 is equal to what? 2. 11 by 12 by 6 by 12 by 6 mean? Well, that's the middle point you have here. Now, now the things is, okay, value of the function at the first point and the last point should be multiplied by one and middle point should be multiplied by two. So that's I write here. Your function is this one. What is your X naught? One. So land one plus one and X one is what? Seven by six. X two is eight by six. X three is nine by six. X four is 10 by six and X five is 11 by six and x6 is equal to two. So function is x plus one. So we have this, use this formula and inshallah you will get, this is the approximation. Compute the error bond. Error bond is h square, as you know, one over six, 12, b minus a, b minus a is one. We need only m. m is the maximum value of the derivative of the function in the given interval. Your second derivative of the given, your function is given what? Lin x plus one. What is the second derivative? Is this one. And then you find the maximum value of, as I told you, when you are variable in the denominator, maximum always majud at the smallest point. So at one, so one plus one is two, two power two, four. So one over four mean 1.25, put the value and this you have. And then the second thing you use the error formula, this one, and you simplify, you already know M, only you calculate N and N when you calculate it is 
14.4338 and this mean what is your interval is a 15 interval if in exam teacher asks you find the number of points the number of points are the 16 we have here same example like previous example Yeah, this is I give last time in the exam. This is good example, please. <clears throat> he said, find the largest value of H that can be used of the error in estimate the given integral. This is given integral with the accuracy given is this one and the rule is composite trapezoidal rule. First he said, find the H. Because I told you when your problem is given, in the case of numerical integration, one of the condition must be given. Either teacher give you H, or he give you number of points, or he give you number of sub interval. But in this question, he, the teacher, did not give you any information. It means you need, if you want to use the formula, you need any one of the condition. Therefore, he say, after finding the H with this accuracy, then find the approximate value of the integral. So first you use the error formula. We know error formula is what? The second derivative of the function. This is your function and you have to find the second derivative of the function, which will be inshallah is this one. And then you find the maximum value of the second derivative of the function inside the interval one and two, you will get 1.84. Now you use the formula. This is the error formula. H square 12, 1 over 80. This is error bond, but he need H. We don't know H, therefore he give you the accuracy, this one. So we say this is given, this accuracy, and you simplify, you take 1.4 in the denominator, 12 in the first. So you can have H square. So H, take the square root and you have the value of H and which is almost approximately 0.2. So when you have a 0.2, what is your N? Because you already know what is the formula of N? N always equal to what? B minus, minus A, A the same by H. H. B is your what? Is B given two? two. A is given one. And as you just find out is what? Point? Point two. Point two, right? Yeah. So yes. what is this one? This is mean n is equal to five. So when you have h is equal to point two, it's mean how many points you have? Five, n is five, so you have a six point. So it's mean how can you use? X naught given by the teacher, one. Now you can find H, X one, because you already know your H is 0.2. So this will be what? One point. point two. Then X two will be one point. Four, X three will be one point. Six and X four will be what? One point. Eight. And what is x5, the final point? Up to the limit, which is this. And now you use the formula. This is the formula value of the function at the first point and the last point should be multiplied by one and middle function should be multiplied by two. So you know everything. F of x1 is what, x0 is what, and the function you already know. Function is this one, put f of x0, you can have the value here, you f of x1, all you calculate and I did here. And I have this value, and this is a job. This is a good example, please. Here. First, you have to find H and then find the approximate. This is a good, very good example, please, in the examination point of view. So we finish. Our first numerical integration rule, which is a trapezoidal rule. I told you trapezoidal rule is very easy, very simple rule. H by two, 
value of the function at the first point and the last point should be multiplied by one and the middle point should be multiplied by two. Very easy to use, but the problem with the trapezoidal rule, if you want to get good accuracy or good approximation of the definite integral, your h should be as small as possible. To avoid this one, if we have to use another formula, which is one of the best formula for the numerical integration case, and it is called the Simpson rule. It's called the, the Simpson rule. It is one of the best rule for the numerical integration, and it will give you very good accuracy. Even your h is slightly big, but the problem with the Simpson rule is what? As I told you, the, the trapezoidal rule can be used for n is equal to one, n is equal to two, three, four, five, any n, n values. But for the Simpson rule, your n must be even. It means the minimum requirement for the Simpson rule is what? n must be two, then four, six, eight, ten, n is equal to one, n is equal to three, n is equal to five, n is equal to seven. You cannot use the Simpson rule. Simpson rule can be only used if your number of sub interval must be even, must be the even we have here now. So same way like in the trapezoidal rule, first I discuss you the simple case, which we call the simple trapezoidal rule or n is equal to two or n is equal to mean three points we have. And I prove the formula, no need to prove. This is a formula which we call the simple Simpson rule. It is h by three, value of the function at the first point and the last point multiplied by one and the value of the only one middle point should be multiplied by four. In the simple trapezoidal rule, we have no middle point, but in the simple Simpson rule, we have one middle point and that we have to do multiply by four here. In trapezoidal rule, we have h by two, here we have h by three. This is a difference between them. And you can see the accuracy is good. It's the same example we solved with the help of what you call a tree rule, simple trapezoidal rule. We solve the same example with the help of simple Simpson rule. And you will see you have a very good answer, good accuracy. So we have used a simple Simpson rule to find approximate our value of this definite integral. Your f of x is given, this one. What is your h? h always b minus one taxim by two because n is equal to two for the case of simple rule. Simple Simpson rule, so h is equal to 0.5. So for simple Simpson rule, you need three points, x0, x1, x2. x1 is your one, x0 x is your one, x1 is your one plus h, which is 1.5, and your x2 is two equally spaced data point here. Now you can write simply the formula h by three, f of one, four, f of 1.5, f of two, and your function is given f of one is one by two, which is this, and f of 1.5 you can find and multiply by four and simplify, you got this one. And we already know the exact answer for this one is this. This is the exact, and now you can see 10 minus four accuracy, just we use the minimum case. Therefore, I told you the Simpson rule, one of the best in numerical integration rule. The only problem with the Simpson rule is and must be E1, 2, 4, 6, 8. For odd point of n, odd n, we cannot use this rule. Let's give you the composite here. This is the error formula I give you, error term for the, the Simple Simpson rule is a minus h power five divided by 90 and the four time derivative of the function at eta, eta is unknown point. I give the proof, no need for the proof here, please. And this is the error bond formula for the simple Simpson rule, which is what? It, h power five, 
divided by 90 m m is a maximum value of the four derivative of the function let's say maybe in in the final exam you can have multiple choice problem and he can say find the the error bound of this problem is this 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 you, you know you give me the four option complete question is not like this one so you say find the error bound for the simple simpson rule right for the simple simpson rule for this one so your f of x is given this one for simple simpson rule h your is what is two minus one taxim by two which is is a one by two which is 0.5 you need the fourth derivative and the fourth derivative of the function you will find is this one and then you use the maximum value of the four derivative inside the interval one and two, because again, your variable in the denominator maximum always measured at the smallest point, which is one, one plus one power five, two power five, two power five is 32, 24 divided by 32 will give you inshallah 0.75. Now you use the formula H is your 0.5, by 90 and this is the possible error bond and very good error bond 10 minus 4 accuracy just in this simple error bond we have this is an example i give in the exam complete example for like t rule you say find the approximate as i told you one thing to remember please in exam teacher never mention you this is a point to to remember please in exam teacher never say use the t rule or use the simpson rule generally he say use the best integration rule and the best integration rule when teacher says so what is your job to do you look only n what is n given? If n is given odd, it means the best rule is t rule. If n is given even, then of course the best rule is a Simpson rule. So here I mentioned this is because this is the same example I give in the exam last time. I copy in my lecture note here. And what is that one? He said, find the approximation of the, the definite integral by using the best integration rule with the help of this one. Yes, if any student give me the answer of this one, let's I give you some bonus points here. It's mean you can see the best integration if you want to use here, you need what? H, you need N, you need number of points, but here nothing is given here. But I mentioned this one, when I give this problem in the exam, I mentioned find approximation of this one with the minimum case and minimum case for this case is the simple Simpson rule. I mentioned simple Simpson rule. For simple Simpson rule, you need three points. One point is one, other point is two. What is the other point you will choose? 1.5. 1.5 we have to use here now. So this is the things we have here now. So X naught is your one lower limit, X2 is your upper limit, and this is your the middle only possible equally space point we can have here for this case because no other equally space. In the exam, when I give this problem, if maybe teacher not mention you, the T rule or we say the simple minimum case of the integration rule, minimum means the simple, either simple trapezoidal rule or the simple. Simpson rule. Of course, if we can use simple Simpson rule, Simpson rule is the best one. So this is a, the point we pick from the given table. And we know this is a formula for the simple case. 
h by 3, f of x naught 4, f of x naught, and f of x2. You know the function from here. No, you don't need the function. You know what is f of 1 given 0.368. What is f of 1.5 given 335? And what is f of 2 given 271? Use that value in this formula, inshallah, you will get this job. Then the second part, he said, the function for this table is this one, compute the error bond. So error bond, you need the fourth derivative of the function. This is slightly, you have to be very careful. The first derivative is this one of the given function. Second is this, third is this, and the fourth one. Here you should be very good. But it is not a difficult function to take the derivative. And when you have this one, and here I have a mistake here, it should be what? Here it should be the four, not two, please. Here it should be the four. And job is okay, the maximum value is this one here. And then we put the value h is 0.5 power 590. This is the error bond formula of the simple thing. And this is, you have the accuracy 10 minus 4 accuracy. E, e power minus 4 mean 3.83910 10 power minus 4 accuracy, which is a good one here. And the last one. Class party say how many sub interval we need to get the accuracy 10 minus 6. Use the error formula, accuracy 10 minus 6, solve for n. And your n is giving what is 6.5 because you already calculated the maximum value here. Only when you use calculator by solving this expression, you will get n is equal to. 6.5722 and generally a student make mistake here because they say they took the very next integer. Next integer is a seven, but we are talking about Simpson rule. Simpson rule, we cannot take seven. So we have to jump it and to take what? The even number of n, which is eight sub interval or eight interval mean 9.1. This is a good uh, example. Yes. Uh, in, in the table here, in this example, uh, yeah. if, uh, if there was 1.6 on f of x for 1.6, would I still use uh, Simpson? 1 and 1.5 and 2? If yes, there was 1.6. There the therefore, you remember that one here. What I did, I put here, I miss 1 by 1.6 because if I away 1.6, then we have how many points? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. And 11 point mean how much? N is equal to 10. So here you have to use all the points because it equally space. Therefore, I miss 1.6. And 1.6, this is not equally spaced. Only equally spaced we have is what? With this one, lower and upper limit is 1 and 1.5 and 2. This is only equally spaced. No other chance. Therefore, for this, I miss 1.6. Because if I put 1.6, then it is a very clear example, very simple one. Because your h is equal to 0.1. And we can use Simpson rule because how many points become 11? 11 mean n is equal to 10 and 10 we can use here. So therefore I, by, by, by forcefully I miss 1.6. And if we have a 1.6, then we have only one chance to equally space, which is one, 1 1.5 and the two. <coughs> Because numerical integration can be happen only equally spaced at a point. <clears throat> then I give the composite Simpson rule. And composite Simpson rule mean and must be more than two. More than two mean four, six, eight, ten, like this one. 
Then we have a composite Simpson rule, and this is a composite Simpson rule we have here now. H by three, value of the function at the first point and the last point should be multiplied by one, and the middle function, middle function in the points, we have a two option. All the function at the E1 point. E1 point mean f of x2, f of x4, f of x6, f of x8. All odd point function where E1 point function value multiplied by two. And all the odd point function value. Odd point mean f of x1, f of x3, f of x5, f of x7. They should multiply by four. This is a distribution we have for the case of the composite Simpson rule. This is can be for n plus one point we have here now. I proved that one here. This is a simple example, no need for that one here. But you just check this one. I give you the this example. This is very good example. You say we are given the data. F of one is 0.5, F of 1.2 is a 0.9, F of 1.25, F of 1.75 is alpha. F of 1.5 is 1.5 and this, this data is given. And I say, find the approximate value of alpha if the composite Simpson rule give you 1.35 for this integral. Now, when I give this problem in the exam, as I told you in exam, I never mentioned the Simpson rule or T rule. I mentioned best numerical integration rule. So my question is in the exam, if I give this one, find the approximation of the alpha by using this definite integral value is 1.35 using the best integration rule. So it's mean the best integration rule only you can know if you know how many points given and the points must be equal space. So you can see here, definitely the first point is what? The lower limit. One. One. And the last point, we don't know N. So I just make a space. Last point is your what? Two. The two. Now we need the middle point to be equally spaced. So it means how can we say if we take one and 1.2, the difference between them is two, but you can see this definitely we will use because this give you the alpha. It means one of the point we can use is one point two five, and the other point we can use is what one point. Time at five must be because this information is given here. So it means you can see, it means the other possible point we can choose is what? 1.5, 1 1.75, 1 and is it two? So it means this is only equally spaced data point. So this will become your what? One. This will become two. This will become three. And this will become, this will become four. And how many points? Five points, five point mean n is equal to four and four mean the best integration rule is a Simpson rule here. Therefore, I just mentioned here, this one here, the only we have to pick equally space will be in this order. And when you have this order, you have a five point, you have the knowledge of N, which is four. You have a knowledge of H. H is what? The final point minus lower point divided by N, which is four, which is your H. And now you can see, you have the, all, everything's in front of you. Use the value here, value of the function at the first point and the last point multiplied by one. How many odd point we have? Odd point R, X1, and the X3. is going to mean the function value at X1 and X should be multiplied by four. And how many E1 point we have between them? Only, only one, X2. And this multiplied by two. 
and that's a, the shape of your in composite integral look like this one. And then you use here, we know what is the value of this integral is given by the teacher 1.35 and 0.25 by three is one over 12, f of one, teacher gave you 0.5 and this one, f of 1.25 and f of 1.75 plus they're given alpha, so this become four alpha plus two, f of 1.5 is given what? Is a 1.5, so we have f of two is given what? Is a two, so you write the information here and simplify for the alpha and inshallah you will get, this is a job. So this is, is nothing, only trick is what? How you understand that the numerical integration is only possible for the equally spaced data point. This is the most important things here. You must know the equally spaced point you have to pick and that give you the N. N is even, always use Simpson rule. If N is odd, we cannot use Simpson rule. So we have here now the trapezoidal rule. This is a simple example we have here now. I just give you the error term and then we continue next time, inshallah. This is the error bond for error term for the composite Simpson rule. Minus B minus A over one over 80, H power four and four time derivative of the function at eta. Eta is a known point in the interval. And what is your H? B minus A taxing by N, and I take N the cross multiply. And this is the error bond formula of the composite Simpson rule. This is the things we have here. We do, inshallah, two, three example concerning with this example in this one on next time. And then we finish our chapter number. The five. Hopefully on Sunday we will finish chapter number five and on Tuesday most probably we will finish chapter number six. So next week hopefully, hopefully inshallah if everything is remain safe and constant we will finish our slavers of 254 next week and I think we have some, some new information that we have to finish our slavers up to which one is this, um, you know this one? They give some date, I think, because our exam should be before now Eid holiday. Uh, well, it was after the, the Eid holiday, your final exam. Now, I think we should finish everything before the Eid holiday. I don't know you know or not. Anyhow, but next week, inshallah, we will. So we start, inshallah, from example number 5.33. And then we do two, three example, and inshallah, we finish the chapter number the five here. And this is the last example, I think. Then we move to the new chapter, chapter number six, final. The numerical solution of ordinary differential equation if you finish your 204, you already have the idea of ODE. You did in the exact way, we will do inshallah in numerical way in our case. Any question? You have your, as I told you, you have your second quiz inshallah on next, on coming Thursday, not today, because today is also Thursday, the coming Thursday, which is next week, from 10 o'clock 10 o'clock to 1045 so you have a 10 to 1045 is your second and the final quiz we have here now you have any question if not i take your attendance now and also i give you your marks i have a two group and uh, one in eight to nine, and this is the second group from nine to 10. But eight to nine, my student did very, very, very bad in the midterm exam, wallah, very bad. But Alhamdulillah, this group, a student did well as compared to them, but is not 
which I want, because I want, because I give many example. Well, I, you can have the experience of the other teacher. They never give you this example here, but I give many example here. And, but still I give the lecture note, everything I give you, 